Hi, this is Keith Krantz from Dominate Web Media. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a self-hosted WordPress blog or website in 15 minutes or less. Now, I get this question asked all the time. How do I get a website launch? How do I get a WordPress website launch or blog? Uh, where do I get my hosting? Uh, what platform should I use? Should I use hosted or self-hosting? I'm going to show you how to do all of this in 15 minutes or less for as little as $3.96 a month for hosting. Now, why WordPress? I'm not going to go into why WordPress. Hopefully, you're watching this because you already realized that WordPress is the number one platform to use for building a website around content. Okay, if you're using, if you're selling products like e-commerce products, I wouldn't probably recommend WordPress. But if you're building a site that you're going to create content for that the search engines love, that's easy to use, easy to manage, this is by far uh, the way to go. So, first of all. Hosted WordPress or self-hosted WordPress? Well, the basic difference between the two is uh, self-hosted WordPress gives you a lot more control, okay? A hosted WordPress site is hosted on WordPress.com's servers. So your website might be keithkrantz.wordpress.com or how to make a quilt.wordpress.com, okay? You don't get to have your own domain. They host it, they own it, they own everything. And you don't have as much uh, leeway when it comes to design and plugins and integration and, and, and lots of those types of things that you're going to want if you have a serious business. A self-hosted WordPress basically means you host the, the site on your servers or you basically lease the space from a hosting company like HostGator or Bluehost. Now, basically, you need to ask yourself one question when you want to decide which one to use. And the question is, is... Is this just a hobby or are you serious about building a business or a platform? So if you just want to, you know, get your thoughts on paper or on, you know, on the internet and start writing and get out there and do it and you're not real serious about it yet, you're maybe testing a few things out, then I would just go ahead and get started with a hosted WordPress. It's so much easier. It's like literally one minute to get, to get going and it's easy to use and you can start creating content. And down the road, you can actually switch over your hosted WordPress site or blog to a self-hosted WordPress site. So, But if you're serious about building a business or a platform, then you're going to want to start right off the bat with a self-hosted WordPress site. And it's a little more work up front, but I promise you in the long run, it's going to be worth it. So now, uh, what's the first thing you do? Step one, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a hosting account. Okay, there's two main hosting accounts that I recommend, HostGator or Bluehost. And uh, there's literally hundreds or thousands of hosting ac accounts and services and companies out there. And really, I'm only going to recommend HostGator or Bluehost. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use HostGator, which is, which is what I use for all my sites and all my client sites. And it works pretty much almost exactly the same way as Bluehost. So why do I recommend HostGator? Well, number one, support. It's, it's awesome support. Uh, chat, phone support, 24-7, seven days a week. You can always get somebody right away. They will walk you through everything and fix your problem for you, hopefully. So uh, reliability. They have like a 99.9%. .9%, they have like a 99.9% .9 uh, up rate where your site will never go down. So you're, you're, you're going to be safe with that. Uh, it's easy to use, like I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, WordPress absolutely loves HostGator. It's one of their top three recommending hosting services there in the world. So uh, it's great. You can use unlimited domains, emails, etc., on one hosting account. Okay. It's, it's a, sh it's, you can get a shared plan where you can literally have unlimited domains and emails and it is affordable. Like I said, it's as little as three ninety six per month. If you're, if you're paying, uh, committing to a little bit more upfront, like a two or three year plan. So it's, uh, it's the way to go. It really is. So let's go ahead and go in and show you how to do it and get this done. Okay, so if you go to my website, you'll notice my domain is www.dominatewebmedia.com. Now, I have this website hosted in my HostGator account. Okay, I lease space from HostGator and I have multiple websites that HostGator hosts, okay? But I own everything, okay? I own the domain. If I want to sell my domain, I can sell it. If I want to uh, do anything I want, I can do that, okay? It's very important to, you know, own the race course, not the race horse. So, first of all, how do you get started? Well, what you're going to want to do is basically uh, 
the, the, the things you're going to need to get started are, number one, you're going to need to know what your domain is. So if you haven't decided that, go ahead and do some research. Go out there and go to godaddy.com and uh, start you know, seeing what's available. If you have your domain, basically you just need to domain your credit card in about 15 minutes or so and you can get, you can get going. So let's go ahead and head over to HostGator. Now, if you go to HostGator.com, and there's a link in the uh, below this video with uh, the link to the HostGator account. It is an affiliate link. Um, I do get a percentage, uh, although you'll notice it's a very small percentage, so uh, that's not why I'm doing this. Um, but uh, I like to recommend services that I use and make sure I'm an affiliate of that. So basically, you go to HostGator, and then all you do is you view web hosting plan. So you click this big yellow button here orange, yellow, and then you go down here, and if you're just gonna be using one domain, you can go ahead and start with a hatchling plan, okay? Starting at 396 per month, it says. That's a, that's a three-year commitment. That's why it's that cheap. But um, if I hit order now, then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and enter your domain name here. Now, this is if you don't already have a domain name. They want you to register your domain with HostGator. You know, I recommend just going and using GoDaddy or maybe one of the other domain registrars to keep your domains in. Uh, it's cheaper with GoDaddy. Um, it's very, it's the most common. That GoDaddy has awesome customer service too. If you have a lot of domains, they work with you. They're, they're great. And it's easy to transfer domains and stuff like that. So I would just use GoDaddy and I'll show you how to do that here. So let's go ahead and just use an existing domain. And I'm going to put uh, www.word press in 15 minutes.com you need to step two okay so that's it so basically if you if you buy your domain with hostgator it, it walks you through the same process but you're just your domain is hosted in hostgator so uh, in a second here i'm going to show you how to move your domain uh, from your from godaddy to hostgator it's easy so now if you notice the billing uh, 36 months, it's $4.95 per month, but it's actually 20% off. So they take 20% off down here once you get get down here. So basically, let's uncheck this, and you'll notice that it's $178.20 for, for $4.95 a month, but then they take 20% off of that, and it ends up being $142.56 for three years. So that equals $3.96 per month. So that's where they come up with that number. It's kind of confusing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I might choose one month at $8.95. So if, it, so if I do that, it's going to be, it's not actually $8.95 because they take the 20% off. So it's seven sixteen dollars per month if you don't want to commit to anything longer than a month. And it'll bill you each month. So then what I'll do is basically uh, fill in a username, okay, a security pin. This needs to be... Uh, only contain numbers, so one, two, three, four, something like that. This is the pin you're going to need whenever you call customer service, anything like that. So make sure you write that down, keep it safe. And then your billing information there, that's basic. And then I don't recommend using any of these upsells. Just uncheck those. They're going to have them, this one pre-checked. Uncheck that one and then decide what you want to do, whether it's one month or 12, 24, 36 months. Then you're going to go ahead and create account. I'm not going to create an account for you here. I've already got a hosting account with HostGator, so I'll show you my backend. It's exactly the same. Once you do this, then what you're going to do is you're going to get an email and you're going to get a confirmation email and it's going to give you a, a cPanel. It's going to give you your username, your login, uh, your, your password, and then once you log in, you're going to want to go ahead and go change your password to something more you know, easy, easier to remember. But it's going to give you a cPanel URL. What that is, is this right here. Okay, This is going to come in your email, and you're going to want to save that, and then click on that link, and then add it as a bookmark. Okay, So you notice how I have it right here? It's a new computer uh, I've just got, so I haven't even added most of my bookmarks in here yet. So you're going to want to keep that. And then you're going to have your username and password. And then I'm going to go go ahead and just click log in. I've already got mine entered in there. Boom. It takes me to my cPanel. Okay, you're going to see the exact same thing. And it's got all this stuff. It's kind of like, wow, look at all this stuff. It's a lot. Okay. Now, once we're here, we're going to go ahead and stop because we need to go back. We need to go to GoDaddy and we need to buy our domain because we didn't buy our domain within HostGator. If you did, 
then you're good. You can skip this next step and come back in about you know five minutes to the video. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you over to GoDaddy and let's go ahead and buy a domain. Okay. So we're at GoDaddy.com and all you do is you go in here right here and search WordPress in 15 minutes. Dot com. So that's my domain. I'm going to buy. And it is available. Okay. Snap it up before someone else does. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to continue to registration. Now the key here is not to get, not to buy any of the upsells because you don't need all that stuff. You just want to get through this without getting upsold to all their stuff. Okay. And before we get to the, once we get to the very end, we're actually going to enter a coupon code in that we can get from Google to even get your pricing lower. So we're going to click continue to registration. Okay. Now I'm going to, you're going to have to create an account if you haven't already created an account. Whoops. So you'll create your account here, just your basic information, and then you have to enter your credit card. Okay. For me, I've already got an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And you might already have an account too. So now I'm going to do one year for this one, okay? Because I don't know if I'm going to be using this domain, but I might be. I might have a ton of these trainings hosted on this website. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one year. And then I'm going to hit, you can keep it uncertified, all this stuff. Just leave it how it is, okay? Hit next. Now they're going to try to upsell you stuff. The key here is to scroll down without looking at all that stuff. Now the only thing... Uh, possible you might want to do is this one right here okay privacy with business registration um, if you select that it's 12 bucks extra a year and it gives you more privacy for your personal information so um, you might want to do that so but other than that I, I just go ahead and hit next just skip all this stuff don't you don't need to do any of that stuff just scroll to the very bottom and hit next. Don't you don't need any of that extra space. You already get a free, you get free email. You get a free uh, lots in, in your in your HostGator account. You actually get a free one eight hundred number if you uh, use one of their. I, I believe it's the fifteen dollar a month plan. So that's pretty cool. But I think with the Hatchling account that we set up, you're not going to get the free one eight hundred number. But if you do like a fourteen ninety five a month plan, you can get a one eight hundred number included in your hosting. Uh, back over here at HostGator. So, but like I said, just hit next down here. Okay, so now what it's got is one year upgrade. No, we don't need five years. Okay, uh, $10.17. Now what I'm going to do, you see over here where it says enter promo code? Let's go to Google and search GoDaddy coupon codes, which I already did. Scroll down here and click on this first one. Okay, and you'll just find one for .com. So right here. 73% uh, off .com domains. Now, don't try to copy and paste because it'll pop open a new window and try to sell you stuff. Just write it down or remember it. Um, sometimes you have to figure out which one works. I think we want to try this one here. LKSRTL. So, let's see here. LKSRTL. And then I think it was... 799 Let's see if that works. Apply. There we go. See that? It took off uh, more savings there. So basically, we've got $8.17 total. Um, we're not going to round up. We're going to go ahead and hit continue to check out. Okay. It's already got my credit card in here, so I'm not going to... Uh, typically, you'll have to enter your information if it isn't already in there, and then you'll have to enter a credit card. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one that I've already got saved in there. And then you have to agree to the uh, terms and conditions. So you have to check this box here. And that's it. That's all you do. Order total $8.17. And we're going to hit place order now. Okay, there it is. Order summary, I should have got this in my email. I'll get an email with everything in there. And then from here on, you go ahead and just, we don't need to make any changes. Let's just go ahead and click this button right here back to my account. All right, now that we're on my account, we're gonna go ahead and it might take a couple minutes, okay? So you might need to take, wait like, 
15 minutes or, or 20 minutes or something like that for your domain to actually show up in your account. Okay, I have multiple uh, domain accounts that I own domains and different type, different services. Uh, this is one of them, but typically GoDaddy's fast and it'll just take a few minutes. So let's go ahead and hit um, domains. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is actually, in case you get, sometimes people get lost right here and they get kind of confused. Uh, if you do, what I'm gonna tell you to do is just kind of go back to home and you or, or, or go to the top here where it says all products and domains. The easiest way to do it is is find this menu where it says domains and then get a scroll over here and click on domain management. Okay, it's the easiest way. And then I'll click on that. There, now it's got all your domains listed in this account right here. And this is gonna be much easier than the last screen I was at. So now, uh, the one we bought was WordPress, so it's not showing up yet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video and then come back here in about 15 or 20 minutes or so, and then it'll be showing up and I'll show you how to send the uh, DNS servers over to HostGator and then we can install WordPress. And it's about a minute process after that. Okay, I'm back in the domain manager here and my website is showing up so it just took a few minutes here so i'm going to go ahead and click on wordpress in 15 minutes.com and then what that's going to do is that's going to take me here so i've got all this domain information uh forwarding if i want to forward my domain to something else that's where i would i would do that there but the only thing i want to use right now is the name servers i want to set name servers okay now if you use a different uh domain registrar you're going to be able to do the same thing. It just might look a little bit different. You're going to basically want to set your name servers, okay? Or go to the DNS management. So DNS stands for domain name servers. Okay, so I'll go ahead and set name servers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this bottom one here. I have specific name servers for my domain. So right now it's domain control, which is a GoDaddy one. Now all I have to do is go back over to HostGator, scroll all the way down, my C panel here. This is my C panel, my control panel. And if you look right, not quite all the way down, I guess. Wait. Yep, all the way down. I just missed it there. Okay, so down here, name servers. That's my name server. So it's ns2281.hostgator.com and ns2282. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to hit uh, copy. So right click C or, or command C or control C on a Mac or a PC. So I just it can right click and copy there and then I'm gonna go over here and right click and paste or like I said control V uh, con or command V for a Mac and then I'm gonna just do that again over here okay and then just change it to 2 okay it's because it was 2281 and 2282 remember that here's the second one there so the only thing difference is that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK boom and that's all I have to do. These changes usually take two hours. However, it may take up to 48 hours for these changes. To be honest with you, it's faster than that usually. So, especially with uh, with HostGator. And uh, now I'm going to go back to HostGator. And all I have to do is two steps here. Okay, there's two steps that I need to do to install WordPress. The first thing is I need to add a domain. Okay, and that domain is the one I... I just bought at GoDaddy. So it's www.wordpressin15minutes.com, okay? And I can even do this before I, I do this step over here. And that's the, the crazy thing. It just won't actually all work until I make sure and you know set my name servers over here. But you can even do this step first if you like, if you end up doing that. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, click add on domains and new domain name is going to be www.wordpressin15minutes.com wordpress in 15 minutes.com and we'll just uh, go ahead and the subdomain or FTP username I'm gonna go ahead and put wordpress in 15 minutes okay now that's my FTP username and if, if in case you need to get a developer to, to log into your FTP down the road, you're not going to really need this right now just to get WordPress installed, but you will need to save this, these username and passwords so you have them because if you ever do any developing on your site and have a, somebody come in there, they're, they're going to want that. So password, go ahead and just choose a password. Okay, I'm going to use one here 
And that's it. I'm going to hit add domain. Boom. It's, it's working right now. All right. The add-on domain, WordPress in 15 minutes, has been created. So I'm going to go ahead and hit go back. And we're going to go ahead and just hit the home button here. See this little house here? Hit home. And now we're back to the C panel. Now we got to do the next step. We got to add WordPress. So we're going to scroll all the way down, okay? Just about. And we're going to find Fantastico Deluxe right here. It's under software services. So it's Fantastico Deluxe, this little smiley face here. We're going to click on that. This is how you add WordPress. Okay? Now all you do here, don't get all I'm nervous, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down here and click on WordPress. Okay? Now, what you're gonna do is a new installation. So WordPress, WordPress support, new installation. Click this button right here. Okay, so I'm gonna install this on wordpressin15minutes.com. So you're gonna choose the domain, you won't have a list in there probably because you probably might only have one. So WordPress in 15 minutes.com. That's the one because I just added that domain. So that we're going to go ahead and install it. We're going to leave this blank. Okay. The directory. Some people might want to install it like on a subdomain or something like that, but we're, we're just going to keep that blank. Okay. And then you're going to need an admin username and password so this is where you're going to use every time you log into the back end of your WordPress site or anybody that works for you might add content um, they might log in using this or you might add them as an admin but so you're going to want to use something here that you're um, used to using you know typically a lot of people will use admin you might not want to use admin because it'll be easier to hack so let's go ahead and put uh, oh let's just do admin three two one but uh, Typically, you want you want to do. I'll go in here and change this, but um, and then let's see here. Password. Um, and then that should be grayed out, so you can't see that. And admin nickname. I'm just gonna use my Gmail account there. Site name. Let's put uh, WordPress. Yeah, WordPress, fast WordPress install. Fast WordPress setup. Okay. And we don't need a description. So we'll go ahead and hit install WordPress. And then we're going to hit finish installation. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your email and you're going to open up the email that WordPress sent you. Now, it tells you where it's logged, where it's installed and all that kind of stuff that you, you don't really need to know about a whole lot right now. The only thing you really need to know is this website right here, admin URL. So you're going to want to click on this admin URL here. Okay. Okay, notice that admin URL, it's a longer domain here, but I'm going to go ahead and if you looked here, it was basically WordPress in 15 minutes.com slash WP dash admin. Okay. So that's the actual. So let's just type it in here. WP admin. See that? And then it takes you to this long one. But what you can do is you can just bookmark this page. Okay. Go ahead and bookmark this page. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. And hit remember me and log in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up another tab, my browser here, and I'm going to type it in and see what it looks like. WordPress in 15 minutes.com. Voila, look at that. I got a brand new website, self-hosted website. They've got a little, you know, default image you can change that, and there it is. Hello world's the first post that they've actually created for you. So what you're going to want to do is go back over here to the dashboard here where I just logged in. Okay. This is your dashboard. This is how you log in and make changes and make posts, make pages, uh, anything like that. So 
What we're going to do is you're going to make your first post. So we're going to go over to posts right here and you're going to click add new. Okay. Or actually let's go ahead and go to all posts and the hello world one is the one they created. So we can delete that one. Let's go ahead and hit trash. Okay. And let's just add a new one and let's put welcome to my blog. Now this is a blog, but um, whether you're creating a blog or a website, you're going to want to use WordPress, whether it's a regular website for your business, showing off your business, or if it's a blog. Some of the top create top content websites in the world use WordPress. WallStreetJournal.com uses WordPress. Okay, so what you're going to do now is let's go ahead and create my first post. I'm not going to go into a big details on how to do the rest of this because I want to keep this video short, but let's go ahead and create my first post. What this call is here is this is called a little WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Okay. So uh, if you, you want to keep this on visual here, so it's on visual and not HTML. HTML is where you're going to, uh, if you're actually customizing this page or if you're, you know, bringing a YouTube video embed code or something like that in there, you're going to want to paste that code into the HTML spot. But I want to keep it on visual. And then this little button here, go ahead and click on that. That's going to show the rest of your tools here. So I'm going to say, uh, welcome to my website. Okay. And let's go ahead and highlight that and make this big heading one. All right. Now, um, this is my first blog post and I am really excited. Okay. It shouldn't, it's weird that it changes the, the next line automatically, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we can go ahead and hit save draft or we can preview. So go, I'll go ahead and hit save draft and then we can preview and it'll pop up in a new window. Okay. A new tab. So I hit preview. It'll pop up in a new tab to show you what that post looks like. So there it is. Welcome to my website. And there's a little printed there or a little, um, some text there that I wrote. I'm just go back to this. Now, when I want to publish it, all I do is hit publish here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. Then I can hit preview changes and it will also open up a new tab right here. And this is the published post. Pretty cool stuff there. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Um, one quick thing I'm going to show you, I'm not going to go into all the other trainings, but I want to, one setting you're going to want to do is you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to writing. Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Permalinks. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and hit settings and go to uh, permalinks here. And it's on the default right now, but let's go ahead and change this to post name. That way I'll hit save changes now. Now it's not going to have those weird numbers after your URL. It's going to actually say what the name of the post is. So let's go ahead and go back to your posts up here, all posts and welcome to my blog. There it is. And notice now it says, welcome to my blog. Okay. That's the actual, instead of over here where it had all these weird numbers here. Okay. Let's go ahead and X out of that. Let's go back to this. I'm going to hit view post right here. Okay. So I'm going to hit view post and now it's welcome to my blog. So it's a lot cleaner. So back here. So once you actually hit publish, uh, then you'll have this view post button here. It's not there until you hit publish and then you can just make changes and update and stuff like that. So a lot of cool stuff you can do. I can change this color to red if I want. I can make it, uh, I can make this, I can do lots of stuff, but I'm not going to go into all those details now. Uh, other trainings are meant for that, but I wanted to show you how to get your website up and running. Um, if you want to customize your skin and you want to, uh, really make it look, uh, the way you want it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a premium theme and you're going to want to use one of the main theme developers like uh, Woo Themes, Elegant Themes, maybe uh, Genesis by Studio Press uh, or Templatic. And what you can do is you can go, go scroll through all those themes and take a look at the pre, these pre-designed websites that designers have designed 
and they've done all the hard work for you. And you can basically just install that theme and it automatically changes the design of your site. And all you have to do is just change a few things like images and logos to customize is it to personalize it to your, your brand. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, if you don't want to go through that whole process, uh, I do, I am, I, we actually are launching a, a new service to be able to in, do the whole thing for you. Literally install WordPress, uh, get your website up on your hosting and then install a premium theme and customize that premium theme to your brand uh, for literally a couple hundred bucks. So uh, that website is roiwebsitedesign.com. Uh, it might be available when you're watching this. It might not be. Uh, it's a new service because a lot of people, they just want to get a website up and fast. And what we've done is we've, if people decide they want to choose a custom theme from Woo themes or uh, Templatic themes, and you can look at some of these, it's, it's pretty cool. So uh, if you go to like, for example, let's go to Elegant Themes. Click on that. And you can see all these themes and you can like basically install one of these themes and your website can look uh, just like this right here within a day. So very cool. Um, you can go through there and take a look at that. But uh, very shortly, we're going to have a service where we will do all that for you. We'll install the theme. We'll install the paid theme and we will customize it to your brand for just a couple hundred bucks. So hopefully you were able to really use this training, get a website installed and start creating content. All right. So, uh, for, you know, I've got a lot more, if you want to learn more tips about just internet marketing, how to get traffic, how to use social media, how to use Facebook advertising, make sure you go to www.dominatewebmedia.com and check it out. And I'll have more information there if in case you want to have all this stuff done for you. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed the video, like it, comment, share it, please. And I will talk to you soon.